welcome to the No One Cares channel. It's your boy, Troy. Man, I appreciate you tuning in. Comment, like, subscribe to the No One Cares channel. In today's video, I want to talk about Antonio Gates. Antonio Gates' wife has filed for divorce after 11 years of marriage. Once again, we have an ex football player, ex sports player that's retired. And a year later, only a year later, the wife filed for divorce. Do we see a pattern here? Is there a pattern that's going on? Well, we're going to talk about it. Wow. Now, let's bring up the article, man, because, you know, uh, Antonio Gates, he's an all-pro tight end. Here we have Antonio Gates, the article, right, off of Singe News. After 11 years of marriage, NFL star Antonio Gates' wife seeks divorce. It says, after his reality show wife legally filed to end the couple's marriage, NFL star Antonio Gates is on the verge of getting divorced. Sasha Gates, star of WAGS, which, which was a reality show for uh, women who were married to NFL stars. So that means she was trying to get, get her money together, get some money up, right? She was trying to, you know, make her own money. It says she filed for dissolution of marriage in Los Angeles County courts, asking the court to dissolve her marriage to Antonio Gates former tight end for the San Diego Chargers. Now, he was damn good. This dude was hella fire productive, maybe one of the best tight ends in the NFL. He was on top of his game. It says Antonio is arguably the best tight end to ever play the game, having appeared in eight Pro Bowls and NFL record. Gates left the Chargers in 2020 after 16 years and 100 touchdown receptions. How much more productive can you get? After an 11-year marriage, Antonio Gates' wife filed for divorce. It says Sasha appeared on the e-reality show during her marriage. She is an expiring singer who works in the fashion industry after earning a degree in fashion merchandising on the reality show WAGS. It's called Wives and Girlfriends of Professional Athletes. That's that's what it stands for. Sasha also runs the Darling Foundation, a nonprofit that provides wigs to women who have lost their hair due to illness. In June of 2011, the couple married and now have two children. So, yeah, 2011, 10 years, 2021, that's around COVID. Now, you know, a lot of relationships were either made or they faded. COVID will make or break a relationship because it secluded a lot of couples. It, it, it put them together. And that's when you really find out what your mate thinks. When y'all have to be together for a long time, just you and them, that means, you know, if the female's chit-chatting with other guys, she can't really chit-chat like that. If the man's talking to other women, she, he can't really talk to them like that. So that's when a lot of relationships had problems. It also was when, you know, a lot of men were home with their wives because he's an NFL football player, so he's busy. He's probably only home two days a week because he's got to watch film, work out, then they travel. And a lot of professional athletes' wives get comfortable with their their athlete being gone. A lot of women marry athletes because they're gone all the time. I don't know if men think about this or understand things like this. They're strategic. Oh, he's going to be gone all the time. Hey, I can do what I want to do. Let's get back to the article. The couple married in a lavish ceremony at San Diego's Grand Mar Hotel According to reports, several NFL stars, including Sean Phillips 
and Stephen Cooper were among the 250 guests. During his NFL career, an NFL star opens up about his family issues. He said the food was the most enjoyable aspect of the big day. Caramelized shallot ravioli and brandy butter sauce, braised short ribs, and grilled prawns were among the five-course meals served by the couple. Are you starving? Buttermilk mashed potatoes were served on the side and a special red velvet wedding cake from Trinidad was flown in. Antonio Gates recently discussed the difficulties of marrying and raising a family while competing in professional sports. Gates has four sons and daughters. I believe he had one son before the marriage with her. It says the demands of this profession make it very difficult, Gates said. However, I am a firm believer in finding a way to bring everything into balance. That is exactly what a good father does. However, it is a difficult task. It's one thing to be part of a group, but it's quite another to strive to be the best at what you do. It brings a whole new dynamic and challenge to the table. You have to find a way to make time for your family when the opportunities arises. He continues, it's all organized by me. In my opinion, the structure is a useful form. It says it works in everything you do and in every relationship you have. We'll do stuff with the kids on certain nights. It's movie night on Fridays. However, we usually have dinner and a movie one night a week. We'll do something else if we're exhausted one day at a time is what we have to do. So, yeah, he's just expressing the difficulties in raising a family while being an NFL star. They were married 11 years. He married a female that was strategic. She's still beautiful. She still has beauty. She can still get out here on the market. She's confident that she can do better than Antonio Gates. Women don't leave men unless they feel like they can do better. Now, let's be honest. A lot of women are delusional. They believe they look better than what than the way they look. They don't understand how men see them. They they see themselves a certain way, but they don't understand how men see them. So a lot of women feel like they can do better and they're already with the best they can do. And they get out here on the dating market and find out, hey, man, I probably should have stayed where I was at. It seems like. Sasha, she 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 kept her body up, kept her beauty up. She locked down the finances by, you know, having the two kids and she's done the little side hustle shows and stuff like that. So she's feels like she's in a good position to leave. She's already done the damn calculations. She filed for this divorce. Eight out of 10 divorces are filed by women. Sasha has already done the calculations. She wants to go back out here on the marketplace because let's be honest, Antonio Gates is retired. The fire is out. There's no more attention. He's not getting invited to big events anymore like he used to. The fire is dead. And Sasha still believes that she, she can pull a, a better option. She can pull someone where the excitement is still around. Now Antonio Gates is home all the time when he was used to be gone all the time. And I want you guys to look at some of these pictures because if men stepped out of their emotional mindsets for a minute, right, and looked at their situation, they would understand some logical things. There's a few pictures that I saw of Sasha and Antonio Gates that let me know that she, she has another plan in the back of her head. It seems like she was planning the whole time to not all the way 
attached to him. She 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 attached to him, but it seems like she wanted to keep her. It seems like she wasn't into him like that. Some women just aren't into you like that. They're into what you provide. They're into you, they're into your productivity. They're into your finances. He's retired. He's not signing the major contracts no more. And, you know, hey, she kept herself unattached. And the reason why I say this is looking at the pictures. Let's look at picture number one. Let's look at this picture number one. Look at this photo. Now, he's hugging her. He's kissing her. You know, it, it's cool. But, but. It doesn't seem like she's really into him like that. She's not looking at, it's like she's not looking at him in the eye. She's not looking at him. She's not kissing him back. She's not trying to kiss him on the mouth. She's letting him kiss him on the cheek. It just, it just seems like to me that she's not into him like, like that. You know, uh, you'll have women that keep a door open too. We'll keep a door open. Uh, and not marry a chick. We'll get her pregnant. They keep backup plans. They keep finances. One of the things women do is hide money. Y'all know that. Females keep a bankroll, especially when you're on the, you know, they're in a marriage or something. It's survival. Women are hardwired for survival. So they're going to keep some money so that they can get away from your ass. And if they really tired of uh, your ass coming home, being at home after being a football player, you walk around, you know, you got turf toe, ugly ass feet, your feet stink, your your belly's getting bigger. Right? You ain't look, you don't got that body like you did when you was uh, playing football, when you was an all-star tight end. You got the you're getting the belly now. The money's going down now. So now she can't shop as much as she used to shop. She can't go buy a lot of the things she used to buy because he's at home and he's got his eye on her a little more. He's saying, hey, now calm down on that shopping. Calm down on that. When she when he was gone, she she was spending what she wanted to spend. She was she she was buying everything she wanted to buy when he was gone. He couldn't stop. It was already done now. But now. He's home and man calibrate women. So if he sees her overspending or underspending shit, he going to say something. And she's getting tired of that. She, she getting tired of that. She wants, she wants to do what she want to do, but Antonio Gates is home now. Right? This is a situation we got. So she wants that fire back. This dude is home all the time. She can't do what she want to do. He walking around with stinky feet, turf toe, beer belly. And she ready to go. She ready to get up out of there. She ready to get up out of there. Let's show let's show another picture. I want you guys to look at this other picture right here. Look at this picture right here. I'm a I'm gonna blow this picture up. Look at this picture right here. She ain't even hugging them like that. Let me see if I can zoom this in, man. I don't know how much I can zoom this in, but look at this. She's standing next to him. He's smiling. And she's saying, look, yeah, I'm about to leave your ass. I'm already stacking my money up. I done saved all my money from my little football wives show. I'm I'm up out of here. I'm planning to leave because you about to retire. She probably been planning this the whole time. After one year, after one year, uh, after after 11 years of marriage, She's out of there. Now, they went through a situation to where their house got broken into a while back. I remember I remember seeing that. 
they went their home got broken into and robbed while the kids were home and it happened to a couple of other sports players and i remember they went through that in their relationship and eventually the police had arrested 10 alleged gang members for home invasion i just i do remember that happening here's the here's the article so you know they've been through a few little tough times together, but shit. When that COVID hit, and he got to hanging around, and then when he retired, that was a wrap, man. And then and and that's what we're seeing nowadays. That's what we're seeing: athletes retiring, being being home again, and women fouling. For divorce. Got to be careful. Got to understand what you're dealing with. Got to understand that women change, man. Women change. Women are fecal by nature. They'll like you for this time and dislike you for that time. They fickle by nature. You know, that's why, man, I mean, if you dating a woman, it's good not to see her that much. It's good to stay mysterious. I mean, because if you all up under her, all up under her, man, she gets bored quick. And Sasha's bored. She, but to me, she never was really into him. When I looked on uh, her Instagram, because I don't see it up anymore. It seems like she's just taking it down. When I looked at her Instagram, man, I didn't see pictures of him like that. I seen a family photo. I didn't see pictures of him like that, like her taking a photo of him chilling by the pool or, or her taking a photo of him, you know, in a suit or something. She wasn't into him like that, man. Most, most women are with these fellas for what they provide. Take your ass on the road. Be gone so I can stay here and do what I want to do. I appreciate you tuning in to the No One Cares channel. Remember, no one cares. No one gives a damn. They'll use you, mistreat you, if you don't understand biology, if you don't understand behavior, if you don't handle what you need to handle and make the, the decisions that you need to make, you'll be punished. Remember, no one cares, but just no one cares. The man upstairs cares, and he wants you to become the best version of yourself. As a man, that also means staying in your logical thinking so you don't let your emotions give you wrong information and destroy you. Women stay in their emotional thinking. Men stay in their logic. Comment, like, subscribe to the No One Cares channel. I'm out.